Welcome to Off The Ranch. This is going to be a demolition ranch style video on Off The Ranch. And by that I mean we're going to be doing some testing. This is not a vlog. This is not a what I did in the day. We're not traveling. Nothing like that. It's just me and we're doing testing out here on Demolition Ranch but with zero pew pews. Let me show you what we have. We have this box Ugh! and I ordered something very expensive and very heavy. So a while back I actually did an off the ranch video where I got a giant block of lead and we dropped it from like an eight foot ladder on things just because I wanted to see what it did and it was super heavy. This is a smaller block but it's really heavy. It's much denser than lead. This is tungsten. Oh, okay, I want to try to pick it up with one hand for you guys. This little block that is about the size of a softball weighs 40 something pounds. Oh, okay, I can do it. I can do it. Hold on, I just, I, just need, I just need to warm up. It's fine. I feel like it looks like I'm faking it. Oh, this thing is so heavy. 40 something pounds in this tiny little block. It's actually, I wish all of you could feel it because it just seems like hard to wrap your mind around something this size being this heavy. But I thought we have something more dense than lead and we have something higher than the last one. I'm gonna climb up there and drop this thing on a bunch of random things. Ugh. For your viewing pleasure. I love you Demolisha. This is gonna be a leg workout going up there. I wanted to demonstrate how heavy this is before I go up there. Um, so this is just a regular cinder block. I'm gonna drop it right on the middle, the strong part, and see what happens. Okay, nothing. But here, if you drop it on this part, <laughs> totally crushes it. So instead of trying to hold this with one hand and climb this thing with the other hand, we rigged up a super sophisticated pulley system. Ugh. Oh gosh. Now I'm just gonna wheel it up, just like, you know, when you made a fort when you were a kid. This is test number one, we're just making sure I can aim. We're just gonna try to hit the box that it came in. Nailed it. Looks like it hit just the side of the box and then nailed the table. That's pretty good, it's just practice. All right, I'm gonna do one more practice shot just on the table before we put anything on it. <laughs> it just went right through it. Nice, did not expect that, okay. So I went through the table and it hit our secondary stop, which was a board on the cinder blocks. A lot of energy there. Now we want to see, can you kill a deer with a block of tungsten from your deer stand? Oh, this is in case it's not actually like pew pew season yet and it's not bow season. It's just metal block season. Ooh, I see a big one. There's a big buck right below me. Wow. <laughs> Very resilient, Mr. Buck. Okay. Okay, we're going at the two liter sodas down there. I am aiming for my favorite, Big Red. <laughs> I only hit the Coke, it looks like. That was awesome, let's do that one more time. We're going for soda again. I'm gonna put this GoPro on top of it because I think the block will fall faster than the GoPro. And then the GoPro will get a cool shot. Firing. Nope, didn't work. Ah! Yeah, that GoPro just stayed like right on the block the whole time. Did not work at all, probably killed it. Where is the GoPro? Uh, we're going at the spaghetti squash now. That last one busted through our board, so we put the box underneath it. That was a tiny target. Firing. Oh, yeah. Freaking centered it, boy. Woo! So that box is made out of thick plywood, like half-inch plywood. You can see it just buried itself in there. 
Got it real nice. Welcome to Knowledge Ranch. Most people do not have the opportunity to experience a material of this density, so enjoy the experience and share it with friends. Check, you're my friends. It is the symbol W, its atomic number is 74, its atomic weight is 183. The name is derived from the Swedish term tung sten, meaning heavy stone. Tungsten has the highest melting point of all metals, 3,410 degrees. Celsius, which we're gonna get to later today. To to no, we're not. We're not doing that. Also, no one cares about Celsius. That's 6,100 degrees Fahrenheit. Just kidding. We all should care about Celsius, but Americans just don't. And for you nerds, the density is 18.02 grams per centimeter cube. The tensile strength is 837 capital N, capital, capital M, capital P, lowercase a. Don't know what that means. Megapascals. The yield strength is 607 MPAs. The hardness is 27 HRCs. High resistant carbons. The elongation is 7%. Now you know, you've been learned. Next up, ravioli. Good deadlift day. Oh shoot, dog. That hit me. I got ravioli on my elbow. And it's delicious. We only hit one out of four cans and it exploded that much. All the other ones just went flying, but that one, that one exploded. Okay, la piña. We're dropping it on a pineapple. Hopefully. Dang it, that was a bad shot. My bad, my bad. We'll do it again. Round two. God, it's hard. It's hard to aim. I don't know how, how ridiculous does it. We're doing shaving cream now. This thing's got squished pineapple and junk all over it. It's gross. Dang it, what a wimpy little hit. It just popped that one can open. Let's do it again. Round two. Got it. <laughs> We're gonna be dropping on the squash and watermelon now. We're gonna squash that squash. Firing. Oh yeah, that's good. Interesting to note, this thing, while dirty, is not even scratched yet. Ugh, it's so hard. We've been dropping it into a lot of soft stuff, but we're also hitting cinder blocks every time. All the corners, still perfect. This thing is a beast. All the edges, totally straight. It is still a perfect, unhurt cube of tungsten. So, you guys wanna drop it on that fire extinguisher down there? That is a full live fire extinguisher and a can of pumpkin spice air freshener next to it, just in case. Just in case we miss both of them. We got it. <laughs> How's it look down there, guys? Now that's a good shot right there, right? Nailed it. I have a bag of flour, but we thought it'd be more fun if I put the block on the bag of flour and then drop them all together. Some people do this out of airplanes where they drop flour bombs, they just throw a huge bag of flour out of an airplane, but I think it'd be a lot better if it had a tungsten block behind it. I thought wrong. This is an interesting one. We have a full brand new basketball down here. Now the question is, will it hit the basketball and just destroy it, pop it, squish it? Or will the basketball survive and bounce the super heavy metal block back up? Ugh. This is science at its finest. Literally, it's fine. It could, could not get any more fine than this. Kind of both. It popped the basketball and shot it that way. Half and half. Next, we have a giant tub of sour cream on top of a giant ball of duct tape. This is a two for one. I just want to see the mess the sour cream makes, but I also want to see if the thing will stick into the solid ball of duct tape. 
Firing. Oh. That was so gross. It really didn't put that much of a dent in the duct tape though. Like you can see where it hit, but not as much as I thought you. I thought it really would like bury itself in the duct tape. We're learning a lot today. The most dangerous feet yet. Pink spray paint. Oh, it's also a very tiny target, but I got this. I got the cap real good. Got that blue one though. And ugh, we're gonna drop it on this toilet. I didn't know if I wanted to hit the reservoir or the bowl, so I'm gonna try to center it and hit both. I think I can do this. Right about here. <laughs> Missed the reservoir. And somehow this toilet is still standing. <laughs> It'd be cool to see if it'd go through a sunroof, because I figure it probably will. Huh. Yep, it did. Yeah, I got her pretty good. Oh, I wonder if this thing's still open someone's garage. I'm pretty sure that was already like that. I don't think that one was us. Now I want to see if it'll go through the roof. If we just hit it straight on the roof, not on glass. Will it go through? Will it just dent? Will the roof be impenetrable? I want to know. Also, we tried looking for it, couldn't find it up there. So now it's in the back seat. No clue how it got all the way back here, but it apparently went rolling after it hit that glass. So heavy. Whoa! Be cool. I'm gonna give this one a little extra oomph. Oomph. Dang, that's a tough roof. You know what's crazy? Is somebody's mom bought this Expedition brand new at one point, and like Karen was so pumped about it. Like she just loved this car. It made her week that Earl went and bought her this car. And she took good care of it, Earl washed it every Sunday, and she never expected that we'd be doing this to it. <laughs> Sorry about you, Karen. There's a thing on your windshield. After all that, we do have a couple little dents. Overall though, looks pretty much the same. I mean, there are just some minor, minor little scratches in this thing now. And I'm really hungry. I think I'm gonna go make myself a smoothie. Nothing like a watermelon and squash and shaving cream smoothie, you know what I mean? close. He just cut the cord on the bounce. That wasn't even the first shot. That was the second bounce. It hit there, bounced over here, and chopped our cord in half. But, looks like the smoothie's done. I'll drink the rest of that later. Uh, but for now, I was thinking. Uh, 
We're gonna take this block out on Demolition Ranch and see what we can do with some pew pew. So check out tomorrow on the Demolition Ranch channel. Thanks for watching Off the Ranch. Yeah, I love you. Oh. Hey, what camera is that? Number. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell Mayor. <laughs>